What an interesting and exciting beginning to that whole series. Um, we By the way, yes. I'm sorry. Uh, by um, if if you are going to think of um, Israel Kremen's philosophy, um, in in his thinking, uh, the life uh, this this life we, we live in a small small world where everything comes back to its beginning, mm -hmm. and at the end of the set we come back to the beginning of the whole set. Okay. So we A have this like the Bach, we have this Goldberg arch and familiar feeling. Right? Yes, yeah, exactly, um, exactly. But uh, hopefully mm. I'm going to even be able to ask Israel Kremen his opinion if we get on Skype as part of this program. But, that would be great. But let's yeah. go ahead with the next section um, that you're performing and our audience can hear. So one, if I may ask you to describe the next pieces. The second piece is a Prelude in Fugue in C minor. Uh, actually, to be precise, the only the fugue is written in C minor because the prelude is the interaction between the performer and audience. That what erases the whole barrier between uh, you know what's going on on the stage mm -hmm. and in the audience. Basically, the idea is that no one in the audience can sleep during performance <laughs> because they are busy too. Um, That's why people go to concerts to sleep. No, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> not this one. <laughs> not this one. So in, in this piece, the uh, performer is banging particular rhythms with the dynamics and with the character the on the piano. The performer is you. Yes, yes is it me? Right. Or whoever else or is going else to pick it, yes. up this piece. And the audience is keeping the rhythm and uh, doing the counterpoint together with the performance mm -hmm. part. So are they they're clapping? They're clapping, yes. They go with the mm -hmm. very steady beat. Right. And, and throughout uh, the piece, they, they maintain that. Yes, and they, there is a juxtaposition of uh, the uh, performance part with the bang, yes, Excellent. a little Excellent. tapping on the piano. OK, now the next po part that we're going to hear after that. We're going to hear a few of them. Yes, and then, uh, then well, uh, there is a fugue after the prelude, which uh, performed in a regular way on mm -hmm. the keyboard by, by the performer, right. and, um, and basically that's it. Okay, we're now going to hear the second piece, which is, involves audience participation, which is something pretty new in the classical world, and as you mentioned, keeps people alive and awake. So let's hear that now. Okay, 
a lot of clapping in that one, right? <laughs> yes, but it's organized clapping. It's organized clapping, <laughs> yes. not chaos. Um, the next set? Uh, the next three pieces, uh, I think this is how a composer makes it so emotionally close to each of each of us, for you, for Sergei, for anyone who would listen to this music, because it's emotional content everyone can relate to. Mm -hmm. um, there are pieces that, uh, for example, E flat major fugue, it's like a turmoil. Mm -hmm. And E flat minor fugue is the deepest composition that mm -hmm. one can imagine. Mm -hmm. So you can think of maybe scenes from your lives or maybe people that you used to know or you know, or landscapes, so everything can, in a way, ring the bell mm -hmm. when you hear this music. Good, okay. So we're now going to hear uh, three pieces that apparently have a lot of emotive mm -hmm. qualities, and um, we're anxious to hear it. And I would like to add something, please, uh, please about uh, the F minor prelude and fugue. I think this is a wonderful way of this composer to transform the character from, um, I wouldn't even be afraid of uh, saying a little bit more deep and depressive into the extremely light and outgoing. Mm -hmm. So this Good. will be example in the fugue and F, F minor. Great. Yeah. Let's hear it now. Mm -hmm. 